The Wayne County prosecutor noted it's clear to her that Keith Appling has been spiraling downward for some time now, calling it tragic that someone with promise, talent, and possibility finds himself now charged with murder. A long way to fall for 29-year-old Keith Appling, once a college basketball star and point guard for MSU. We'll be in touch, Keith. All right. The person now coaching Appling, his attorney. Following Thursday's murder charge for shooting and killing his 66-year-old cousin, Clyde Edmonds, in May after getting into an argument over a gun. Based on uh, your representations, as well as the nature of the charges, specifically count one, homicide, murder, first degree, premeditated, I'm not going to give a bond. Uh, Mr. Applin is going to be remanded. Applin will have to stay behind bars for now. Denied bond for the serious allegations he's facing. If he didn't catch that, it's first degree murder, one count of felon in possession of a firearm and two counts of felony firearm. Prosecutors say when police showed up on Whitcomb Street in Detroit, they found Edmund shot multiple times on the front lawn. But Applin was nowhere in sight. Prosecutors say Appling's girlfriend, Natalie Bannister, drove Appling away from the crime and lied to officers about what she knew. She's been charged with one count of accessory after the fact and one count of lying to a peace officer. I know I made some, 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 some mistakes, but I definitely learned from them, and I'm just ready to get my life back on track. And once all this is resolved, Your Honor, I promise you that you will never see my face in the court of law ever again. That's a promise, obviously, he couldn't keep. Appling has racked up a rap sheet. Last October, he pled guilty after a golf-sized ball amount of heroin was found on him. And in 2016 and 2017, he faced three separate gun cases and a resisting and obstructing charge. And of course, we reached out to Appling and Bannister's attorneys for comment, no word back before news time. Bannister was granted bond, but must wear a GPS tether and can't have contact with her boyfriend. Both have upcoming probable cause conferences. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.